In this video, I'm gonna be showing you three amazing gin cocktails going from the easiest to the hardest to show you that gin can be amazing. As a bartender, gin is one of those spirits that I always love to challenge people on. They always tell me, oh, I hate gin. And I tell them, no, you just haven't had the right gin cocktail yet. So the first cocktail we're gonna be making for you today is called the Bee's Knees. It's a super easy, classic gin cocktail. So first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. And there is where the name comes from, if any of you were wondering. Three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. And last but not least, our gin. We're going to do two ounces of a London dry style gin. I am using a Mazzini Brazilian gin. And then we're going to add ice and shake. And then we're gonna pop this open and double strain into our chilled coupe. And there you have a bee's knees. Let's give it a little sip. Ah, oh, so excellent. That honey lemon gin combination with the botanicals from the London Dry Gin are just such an amazing classic. It's super easy to make and just an incredibly tasty cocktail. Right, let's move on to the next one. So the next cocktail I'm gonna make for you is called the Too Soon, made by Sam Ross. Uh, Sam Ross has made some incredibly famous cocktails. You might know some of them. Uh, the Paper Plane, the Penicillin, uh, and this one, the Too Soon, which I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna grab our shaker. We are going to do two thinly sliced pieces of orange right in our shaker. We are gonna do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We are gonna do a half ounce of simple syrup. We are gonna do one ounce of chinar, which is an um, uh, artichoke amaro aperitif. And we are gonna do one ounce of our gin. Again, I'm using my, the Amazonie London Dry Style Gin. And now we're gonna add ice, shake, and then strain. And then we are gonna grab our chilled Nick and Nora glass, pop this open, and we're going to double strain right in there. That is a very interesting color to say the least. All right, and the Too Soon does not need a garnish, and there you have a Too Soon. Let's give it a little sip. Very funky. I'm not usually the biggest fan of orange, but it really works well with the bitterness from the Chinar. The gin is great. Uh, the lemon gives it a little good, a good amount of body and it's a tiny bit sweet. It's a fantastically well-rounded cocktail that doesn't lean too heavily in either way. It's not too gin forward. It's not too bitter. It's not too sweet. And it has a really nice underlying flavor of orange. Overall, excellent cocktail. But then again, what else you can expect from Sam Ross? The man is a genius. Right, let's move on to the next one. And last but not least, the last cocktail I'm gonna be making for you is called the Saturn. This is a super classic tiki cocktail with a couple of more out there ingredients which do make it a little bit more complex. All right, so it is a shaking cocktail. Again, we're gonna grab our small shaker and we're going to do uh, one and a quarter ounce of our gin. And again, we're gonna use our Amazonie London Dry Style Gin. Uh, three quarters first, and then a half after for one and a quarter. We are then going to do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We are going to do a half ounce of passion fruit syrup. And then lastly, we are going to do a quarter ounce of orja and a quarter ounce of falernum. If you'd like to know how I make my orja, you can find that right over here and a quarter ounce of falernum. Now, typically this cocktail might be served up in a coupe, but I'm gonna be serving it in a low ball with crushed ice. So we're only gonna add just a couple of rocks in here just to incorporate all the flavors. And once we stop hearing the clicking, we're gonna pour it out into our low ball.
All right. So uh, that looks about good. Smells incredible. Grab our low ball here and pour directly into our glass. And then I have already prepped some crushed ice ahead of time. And now we're just gonna fill up this bad boy with some crushed ice. And then as a garnish, we're gonna do two little lemon rings hollowed out as kind of like the rings of Saturn. Can't forget our straws. And there you have a Saturn. Let's give it a sip. Mm. What can I say? It's an absolute classic for a reason. Fantastic tiki cocktail. That gin comes through, the passion fruit provides an incredible delicious flavor. The lemon is great for that citrus element. You do get the orge on the falernum and it's just a amazing classic tiki cocktail with gin. It's just amazing. I really, it's all I can say about it really. And there you have it guys. Three incredibly unique gin cocktails going from easy and simple to a little bit harder and a little bit more complex. But that's enough for me. I've got three amazing cocktails I, I gotta get back to and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.